you went through the struggle. And now there's a, a really cool boss, right? I was in here with the laser. Oh, there's the boss over there. Look how giant he is. Oh my god, dude. That's Big Zam. Wow. That looks mad cool, dude. I feel like I'm watching the 1995 Dragon Ball movie. Dragon Ball Z movie. With like the dude that looks like the huge cell. So, Director E3, the Gundam that has Big Zam, the boss, over here. It looks mad cool. He dodge his laser. Obviously, I recommend being level 19 for the entirety of Director E3. I had to bleed it. I let my teammates die because I was trying to get a cool screen cap of the boss. So this is another mission in Director E3. Um, it's like 3E or something, if I have to be specific. And obviously, like, guiding you through it. Um, like it's totally enjoyable and like endlessly fun. It's like, whoa, dude, really? It's like, we realized we could like converse about stocks, right? Why did he have to move him? So. Welcome to Directory 3, an SD Gundam Battle Alliance Deluxe Edition, which I got on Steam. It's also on the Switch. Um, I'm right next to my Golden Jet uh, partner. His name is Arios. And also, I got Barbados. We're standing on our uh, tennis court right here. You got really nice bridge in the background, architecture. Right now, I'm fighting in the city. It seems like it does not matter if you don't like rush around. So you could take your time in here, which is kind of cool. I fought him in that same purple room that I fought the tank in in YouTube video 4. Look how cool he looks, dude, in this light. That's incredible. Can Petty Officer Wiseman seriously destroy the new Gundam in his Aku? But this is like... Yo, check out my V. Check out my V here, guys. Wing. Saw that? Saw that V right there. And I also like Pokemon the first movie. Oh yeah, Pokemon the third. Or the Entai. And then I like Pokemon Mew. Obviously Entai had like the World of Final Fantasy, Crystal Staircase, and uh, Pokemon Mew had all of like the mysterious Pokemon that looked like the symbols um, from Pokemon Gold. Uh, with the museum and the bones. Because I always believed I could unlock like a super ancient Pokemon um, by by doing that. So yeah, let's finish off the rest of these dudes. Mission. Let's worry about that later, Sakura. Where's the mobile armor? It's already passed the final defense line. Now check these dudes out. Does that mean crisis? Clearly, we need Tekadan operating properly to win. No hope from. A jaw horn either. Let's break out. We have to find everybody. That's the mobile suit. Mods are responsible for slaughtering a quarter of human population 300 years ago. So I'm doing Directory 3 with my partners Barbados and Arius. That's the cannon. Yes. We're on the moon level. Quite a bit of uh, lasers everywhere. I was talking in the stream, I really talk about uh, Lego Star Wars, Star Wars Battlefront few other things, right? Alright, here we go. Selected him. I have Barbados and Arios. Um, I'm gonna do Battle for Christ. I uncapped my Gundam and leveled them up a bit like I show at the end of the video. And essentially, um, this is Directory 3. The video before uh, Directory 2 was slightly difficult. She says, what are those bug looking things? And more importantly, What's that thing? SD Gundam Battle Alliance, uh, Directory 3. Then just be Directory 2, which is super easy. Um, video, the one before my prior video, like Directory 2, that uh, boss was actually pretty difficult. Uh, so to begin, let's go to MS Settings and let's try to upgrade my commando unit. I'm gonna press A, and it looks like it's maxed out, but I can press Y to uncap it. Okay. Okay. So, in uh, 
in MS settings, I unlocked uncap it. So I press A in my Gundam. Notice how I can't press right uh, to tune anymore. So I'm going to press Y to uncap it and A. Are you sure you wish to uncap? Yes. So I could spend more upgrade points now and I could upgrade my stuff even more. So let's press A again. No, I can't uncap anymore. Okay. Oh, there we go. So after you, after you uncap, you could continue pressing right on the D-pad uh, to continue leveling. So you have even more, um, even more stuff. So look how much extra stuff I have. I don't want to level up too much, right? Let's level up my boost a little bit. Let's execute that. I could just save the rest of my stuff for different Gundams, you know? The upgrade it doesn't just have to be one of them. It's sad that they don't all have other drawings. Okay. <sighs> yeah, my house is currently heating up. All right, so let me go to mission and oh, battle for the Christ. That's pretty cool. So I'm in Directory Three in SD Gundam Battle Alliance. I just beat Directory Two, and the video before Directory Two, it showed off. So yeah, battle for Christ. So. Directory 2, I'm going to change my partner for partner 1, and I'm going to make him the, the black dude. He looks cool. Okay. Random Barbados. Huge thing. So Barbados says, I'll back you up, Augustus. Hallelujah, Haptism says, let's go. <clears throat> okay. That's the mobile suit. Mods are responsible for slaughtering a quarter of human population 300 years ago. So I'm doing Directory 3 with my partners, Barbados and Arius. That's the cannon, yes. What are those bug looking things surrounding it? They're mobile suit armor, subunits, plumas. I'll explain as we go, Commander. Right now we need to catch up to that. Alright. Oh, my R2 got stuck again. Really? I thought it, I fixed it. Oh, there we go. Okay. No. I fixed it yesterday. Oh, boy, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so. So, right now I'm on an alien terrain planet with very soft sand underneath my. My Gundam feet. I feel like I'm in Pokemon Gold and Silver, where you gotta go to the museum and you collect Pokemon Gold bones. Mm. Terrible. Alright. So, uh, Directory 3, it has a pretty cute design. Um, the sand looks super soft. And I'm watching some Gundams fight what looks like Kabutops. Uh, if you've ever played Pokemon Gold, they actually have a museum area. That has bones that you could collect, and they have like weird alien symbols from like the Pokemon Mew movie. I think it, I forgot what it's called. It's like Pokemon Mew, N E W. That was a really good movie. I like that one. I like Pokemon Ruby 3000 with Entai, and I also like Pokemon the first movie. Oh yeah, Pokemon the third with Entai, and then I like Pokemon Mew. Obviously, Entai had like the World of Final Fantasy Crystal Staircase, and uh, Pokemon Mew had all of like the mysterious Pokemon that looked like the symbols um, from Pokemon Gold, uh, with the museum and the bones. Because I always believed I could unlock like a super ancient Pokemon um, by by doing that. So yeah, let's finish off the rest of these dudes. My R2 got stuck again. It's very upsetting. To me. Okay. So I'm gonna hold X, take out one of the plumas. Is ah, there are too many. My immersion. 
Just stay strong, everybody. First, I was like saving the, the Navi on um, with the unobtainium on a Nazi vessel. An avatar. Okay. Whoa. Force breaking. It says, what is this data format? I've never seen this type of mobile suit. Oh, check it out, dude. So before, before I go fight that huge ancient Pokemon, I have to take out these mystery units. They're called Mister 9154. Here we go. Look how cool they look, dude. They're like glowing. Like some random bright light. Gundam design that I don't recognize. Huge lasers. I right, knocked them out already. Nice job, Barbados. Curious. I know who these other dudes are. They're chilling now. Super cute. How cute they are. So, I'm gonna continue onwards to this huge ancient Pokemon. He looks like the one from the DLC. Hold it. We've got a break in. Warning. Strong heat source detected. Says, ah, I had a feeling it was you. Intriguing. Nice. Gundam Latria. Guess that means the mystery mobile suit from earlier was connected. Oh, wow, it's Latria. I fought him in that same purple room that I fought the tank in in YouTube video 4. Look how cool he looks, dude. In this light. That's incredible. Alright, let's dive to the side, sidestep. Perfect. I'm gonna use my turret on him. Just on top of that, the master unit's power source. Right, yeah. Sometimes I, I sound like significantly better. I'm trying to shoot my laser, but my R2 doesn't work. No. Right, so, just do this. So it looks like the mini boss after the the mysterious people. It's called later. I fought him in the purple room um, before. I, with like the tank too. He has a, a really cool design out here. Gonna shoot him with my laser. Dude. Thankfully, I uncapped my Gundam for this. That's such a sick move, dude. <laughs> I got I got that move like in the video and it was like perfectly caught captured, which I thought was pretty cool. Like I don't own any Gundam uh, figures or anything like that. Um, but I did uh, like I'm a huge figure collector and I know obviously uh, Midtown Comics on 40th Street has like 20 billion boxes of Gundam, um, but like I, I never got into Gundam collecting. Cause all, they were all in boxes. You couldn't like actually look at them and like like make any decisions. But like at Comic Con, I saw all the DBZ figures like outright. But at least I could collect them in this game, right? I need to do a little bit better with my my video editing. Like my first five videos, they weren't too good. Because at first this was secondary game, and now this is like like the primary 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 game, dude. Hopefully, I'm able to do this properly. I hope they do like an Armored Core 6 DLC. The Baltius in this game, dude. Just watch everybody like download the game and try to get the Baltius video on YouTube. Alright, so I'm about to defeat the boss. Ah! 
Oh wow. He's doing a lot of damage to me in Direct 3-3. I only have one revive left uh, before it looks like another huge boss in the background. There we go. Ah. It says, I see. The Master and Slave Machine still have room for improvement. Enemy is defeated. Okay, that guy's totally lost me now. What's going on with this mission? Let's worry about that later, Sakura. Where's the mobile armor? It's already past the final defense line. Now oh, check these dudes out. Does that mean Christ is... Clearly, we need Tekadan operating properly to win. No hope from Gajalhorn, either. Let's break out. We have to find everybody. Stay in so Bernie. Great. So I got the Battle of Solomon. Oh my god, dude. I got the Battle of Solomon on a, some spaceport in Christmas Eve. So, after you beat that, okay. So, the first mission in Directory 3 is called Battle of Christ. Obviously, I recommend upgrading the unit to about level 19 after uncapping it. Uh, you could go a little bit higher, but that's all you need to really do. It's kind of cool. And then afterwards you unlock the Battle of Solomon. It's a Christmas Eve inspired level. And obviously the only other levels I struggled with was before my Directory 2 video, that video before that, okay? On my playlist on YouTube. So let's do the Battle of Solomon. It's, uh, yeah. You would think they would have the, the recommendations right in their own game, right? Hmm. Is this the inside of Solomon? The first thing we do is to find the Gundam. Um, Mikazuki, August. I'm heading out. Barbados keeps changing his name. What is it? Hallelujah, sir. Ayo Fleming. Pretty sweet jam session you have down there. Hey, I think I'll add a solo of my own. Go check this out, dude. So, I'm in the inside of Solomon. It's a pretty cool area, dude. Got lasers everywhere. On the moon. They got the moon physics. They just released Lego Fortnite. Oh, check out my new dude. Io. Io Fleming, right? The Gundam may be different, but he's an ally. Miss Juno. Okay. Oh, nice. They have uh, newly designed uh, Rick Doms. You know, uh, Carl from The Walking Dead, he actually streams on Twitch. His name is Chair Handler. Like, chair as in what you sit on, and then handler. It's like handle with an R. You know this game has co-op too as well, right? I'm fairly certain. Which is kind of cool. Um, I, I consider, obviously, this type of the game... I consider this to be co uh, co-op, you know? I did do a really good job in my first video, though. After, like, if you're able to get past, like, the first, like, intro with the Phoenix, I'm like, here I am on mission two, and my, my Phoenix gun, I'm just standing on his tippy toes, and it's, like, the perfect stance, and then I do, like, the clean, smooth fly from building to building, that I, I land on them and I perch. And I, I mentioned co-op near, like, the, the river. That was such a nice... Kind of feeling. Because it's like, how do you introduce? Obviously, I could have introduced like the cinematics at the beginning of videos. Um, and then with like, like a few more of the Gundam posing. Like the first video, I, I had like the blue ship and stuff. So let me click in the right stick to lock on. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, I like LEGO Star Wars, too. Um, uh, I like the PS2. But I know, uh, like, I played LEGO Star Wars on the Xbox One, and that had really good graphics. Like, the first mission's mad fun, up until you skateboard into the building. And then I was trying to follow the YouTube video, and I couldn't do after that part. But it starts off, you gotta fight the clone troopers, and it has incredible graphics. Like, really good graphics on the Xbox One Lego Star Wars, so... I know the next gen will be a little bit better. It was actually kind of a difficult game, to be honest. Um, 
But it always starts off very easy. So, at least you get to see the Boom Troopers. I was playing um, Battlefront 2, I think, or whatever it was called. I think it was Star Wars Battlefront. I like the Black Trooper they call in as like a super. And I would play as like the officer class in the Battlefront 2 game. And I would use like the ray gun. Uh, or whatever like the officer pistol was. Because that was really good. But you had to be a high level to get like the level 50 sniper. Which I really wanted to unlock because it was a really good class. Um, but I would watch people do like the super fights. Or, like the hero fights or whatever. Where you could play as Yoda or uh, Darth Vader. And you could force people, push people off the level, which looked kind of cool. Like I would watch them hide behind like a wall, and then like two people would like run out towards the edge of the cliff, and then they force push them off of it. So yeah, check out Barbados. He has the, the grip ball hammer, and I also failed in mission three. <clears throat> I also <clears throat> so I have to strike more poses with these people. <laughs> okay. So this is uh <clears throat> fuck, dude. One second. Okay. There we go. So, so this is uh, Gundam Balenciaga. I'm staying here with Barbados and his hammer. Uh, Io just joined, and Hallelujah Haptism, aka Arios. So we're on the moon level. Quite a bit of uh, lasers everywhere. I was talking in the stream. I really talk about. Uh, Lego Star Wars, Star Wars Battlefront, a few other things, right? Gundams, Gundam figures, Midtown comics, everything. So, let's continue. Let's lock on to Grace. Says, I won't allow you to reach Commander Jock. Looks like the guys on stage are getting fired up too. That means we've got the young head of us, famous Kujan family, waiting for us. Ah, we'll stop them here. We can't allow them to put the Commander Ayok in danger. Here we go, guys. It's just such a shame, like how good the lighting is in this game, you know? Like, when you really think about it. Like, I was upset, because in Video 3, um, like, check out my Gundams. Obviously, I'm collecting them all. Um, but, like, in Video 3, like, I, they even had, like, Halo, like, Halo, Halo-themed Gundams, which I thought was really cool. Like, they even had their own little grip ball hammers. I thought that was mad cool. I'm stoked that. So, I'm really stoked that Destiny 2 um, is gonna have the final shape. That's gonna be very fun. I'm enjoying Season of the Wish. And check out this bat boss battle, dude. Regin Lays. And I've been enjoying Witch Queen and Lightfall, where I got like my strand in Destiny 2. It's been such a fun uh, gaming experience. Been with Power X. Cause like really, uh, like now I'm re finally reaching like a higher level. They gave me a combat bow, which I'm enjoying, and like I'm a higher level now for Season of the Witch, which, well for the Witch Queen DLC, which is all on sale too. And then with the final shape, hopefully we get to go into the moon. That'd be my, my final, my final hope. That'd be my final hope to go into the moon. 
in Destiny 2. Because um, obviously they say Riven, the white dragon, is going to enter. He's going to give like the, the way to open. Like each week, the season of the wish, which lasts for 180 days, you get a dragon. Egg. And they say he's going to open the way to the moon. Because on Root of Nightmares, you have like a huge triangle, pink triangle, like hole in the moon. And at the beginning of Lightfall, you get to see the Watcher like slowly drift towards it, looking like a train with smoke plume uh, following, like, coming out of his head. And you get a fight in Lightfall, um, Emperor Callus, who apparently like steals the veil or something. And also, um, the Witch Queen, she talks about the veil as well. And she is the, the Taken King's brother from Destiny 1. You get to be like level 40 and then 50 to do the two Tank King missions, which look mad cool. You get to jump on the platform, you have like the huge uh, Taken King. You get to feel like the, the one Batman game with Scarecrow, where he has the huge uh, needle, and you're just sitting there, and you have the Scarecrow just haunting everybody, looking like the, the Sandman and Spider-Man 2, the new Spider-Man game on the PS5. I'm a huge fan of the classic Spider-Mans. Like, I beat Spider-Man 1 on PS1. Um, I have Spider-Man 2 with Jamie Foxx. The movie. It's themed after that with the uh, Electro. Like, the, the first Spider-Man game has Stan Lee in it. Like, he, he has audio clips in it. Like, Stan Lee here. Hmm. Right, so I need to fit I need to figure out the, the dodge because I, I did show I showed it off in one of my videos I was like you saw that sidestep I showed it in the DLC the DLC clip I was like you saw that sidestep and I actually did the sidestep let me knock him up in the air with Y oh he, he power hooked him alright let's let's finish him off hit him up in the air alright so I'm gonna finish off Reginlays with a Y knock him up in the air and then hit him with power X. Can't knock him up in the air, dude. Okay. So I'm gonna finish off Regines with a laser. This is Gua. Gua ha ha. Enemy ace defeated. Breakout successful. Thank goodness. Chuh. Can't say that leaves my toe tapping. Still, you really bailed us out. This Ayu. Thank you, Ayo. We put you through a lot. Man, we'd had you guys from Tekadan around. Some of those brats might have survived. Oh, I got the full armor Gundam blueprint. This view, it's over. Any food for me back at base? Nice. I got the air rider. No, he's can't. No, I have the bows. Soundbar 700. So I put my hand on my. Says, what are they doing to the city? What's going on with the post disaster data? Oh my god, Imperfect Self, Season 5, TPC. Damn it. Hell of a mess we're in. Um, Mikazuki, August. I'm heading out. <laughs> Just brings up DBZ. Alright. So, here's directory theory. Say it ain't so burning. I'm staying here with Hallelujah Haptism, aka Arius the Golden Jet, Barbados, and um, just some random guy, Bernard. Buddy officer, if we don't take down these unknowns, you can forget about the gun. Let's check out the trees over here. We got some laser trees. Got little shops from outer space. You guys ever play Rampage on the PS1? That was fun back in the day. But this is like... Yo, check out my V. Check out my V here, guys. Wing. Saw that? Saw that V right there? Nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, these buildings are nice. I mean, the Phoenix Gundam does look like really good though, dude. So this mission, it looks like there's aliens invading the town. In Gundam Barbados. And tap A and hold B. They got this little lake here, dude. They got a little boat. I just want to throw my RuneScape character in it. I'm so upset. Like, I wish you could, like, set everybody in RuneScape, like, NPC, like, everybody that's online in RuneScape, just to have certain armor sets. Like, by default, they have, like, these five armor sets on. Because I'm looking at all these dudes, and they all wear, like, armor that's completely unrelated to the brand. It's so annoying. Like, I want to watch uh, people in rune, rune armor. I want to watch people in, like, gilded armor. Like, dragon armor. It's so annoying. Like, everyone just, like, like, ha! This is like mobile Dark Souls. Okay, no, no. It's old school RuneScape. Okay. Oh, check out the. I got the little tennis court here. That's cool. I have a tennis court right by my house. IRL. Right next to my track. Right, Arius. Yo, check out Arius, dude. <laughs> yeah, this looks mad cool here. Can I turn off like the menu option? I wonder if there's a photo mode. Let me check. I feel like more games should have photo modes, you know? I wish I could get Barbados to turn around without areas moving. Like, I wish I could switch Gundams too. Oh, perfect. He's on the right side now. This is nice. Yeah, I mean, now that I have like a, a format for, look how nice this dude looks. So, welcome to Directory 3, an SD Gundam Battle Alliance Deluxe Edition, which I got on Steam. It's also on the Switch. Um, I'm right next to my Golden Jet uh, partner. His name is Arius. And also, I got Barbados. We're standing on our uh, tennis court right here. You got really nice bridge in the background. Architecture. Right now, I'm fighting in the city. It seems like it does not matter if you don't like rush around. So you can take your time in here, which is kind of cool. Let's go across the Spring Bridge. This is the Satan Stone Burning mission, okay? I also, in this video, I show off um, like a space, space ship with lasers. Juliet Juris, here to provide support. Oh, nice dude. It's Captain, Captain Woman. <laughs> I, I forget. Oh yeah, the robot chicken episode, where he's like, the like, Captain Planet, Captain Planet. <laughs> it's very funny. Abs absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious, Hans. I own a season one of Robot Chicken on DVD, by the way. It's a good season. Everything is funny. Everything in it. It has a, a robot unicorn. I bought the Adult Swim with the Robot Chicken unicorn with a nerd riding it. A uh, figure in real life. If there happens to ever be an earthquake in New Jersey, that or my golden dragon will probably blind me in real life if they fall off my bed. Like, bro, what happened? It's like, Skyrim dragon fucked me up, dude. Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Oh, nice, dude. I got a battle on the solar, the solar water. The sky turned to ice, so we switched the water to solar. Excellent. What I like to see. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Plumba. Plumba. The mobile armor subunits, Plumas, have vanished off radar, sir. As a sword, my duty is to see any operations, Balenciaga. A break, reading. Does that mean there's pertinent data in the past? Warning. Strong heat source detected. Is yes, this is it. Ian Dalton, this is what I'm supposed to do. Nice. Green eyes, why is it here? Hallelujah, Vinjara. The combat interface of the last era. It besmirched the name of Gajalhorn. Whoa, this dude just knocked me out, dude. I'm a tap B. There we go. Find the boss, he has two axes. Dual wielding axes. He just put his axes away and beat my dude up, dude. Alright, let's hop on a building. He can't catch me up there. Two lasers at him from up here, dude. Press R1 and she rocked at him. Perfect. Yeah, you can't even get me up here, dude. I can just watch the battle from above. Death from above. Yeah. Alright, let's get, let's get a little bit closer. Like, that's what you want more of, right? You want more Gundams fighting and different lighting. There's only the best Gundam. Now you can make an episode, too. You could have, like, people in it. You know, like, big set, bro. Like, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like, damn, dude. Like, I didn't know that we were that bad at school. They do even work. Right, let's go for a side dodge. Ha! This is beast. I will go stronger as a soldier and a person. Says, hey, piece of cake. But hey, it all worked out. That strength of yours appears to be no mere bluster. Okay, I've confirmed a full breakout of data from the post disaster era. Petty officer, petty officer, Wiseman. All that stuff is the Zenyu. Bernard says, I'm taking down the Gundam. I'm protecting the colony. Hope you're doing good. A1. I love the the semi cross eye. So Unity is like the mobile platform, like Salesforce is the mobile app platform. Whoa, dude. That's a new mission. And Big Zam's last stand. <clears throat> That's kind of cool. Okay. So I unlocked this mission. It's called Over the River and Through the Woods. I haven't heard anything about this new Gundam that was supposedly transported here. The RX-78 NT-1, codename Alex, an offshoot of the original Gundam. It was especially developed for Ensign Umaro Ray, ace pilot of the white base team. Wow. 
Oh. And Petty Officer Wiseman seriously destroyed the new Gundam in a Zeku. That was a nice drawing. Yep, that's gonna happen regardless. Let's go, Commander. Says, bring the Grey Phantom inside. If we have incoming mobile suits, use GMs and gun cannons to create a defensive line. Barbados says, Indigo, Sa Sashimi. So, here's over the river and through the woods. It looks like a gun just hopped out. I got all the bright lights everywhere, dude. Ah! Oh, check out the bridge over here, dude. Sick. What a cool level, right? Got nice building designs. All my teammates are caught up. Like the Usher song. Listening to the Hutch's dream with the Usher song. While you have 145k. And you're on mile 6 of your job in the park. And you're about to buy a target stock. Um, like you're about, like you have 140k. And like you have like 4k in target options. But like you're on the verge of buying like 20k. And, and then the next day it goes up like 400%. But like it's getting close to like market close not really and you drove there so you're running around and like the only reason you went there is to do pull-ups and there just so happens to be like this this little like 20 year old dude who just does pull-ups for like 40 minutes straight <laughs> so you're like i want to buy target options but like if i go big i want to be home to watch it you know and I can't watch the price if, like, if I'm, like, jogging around. Um, and if I have, like, a big fall, like, obviously I'd want to set it up a little bit. If, like, it starts, like, falling, like, then I could, like, set, reset myself up or something. I, I just felt that way. I don't know. Because it was just, like, the weather was eventually going to change soon, so. And I, I was on, like, mile, like, 300. Because it's not like I had someone to, like watch prices for me or like that was relatively interested like even if i showed like I don't know, 100 people like how to turn 2k to 25k it's not like all right it's nice let's go stand in the orange light with my team because <clears throat> you can't really make discords for that discords are for like gay furry porn you know it's, it's not for, like, trading stock. Like, my friends didn't even, I told them to download Discord, like, when I got my 4K PC and, like, my $20,000, $50,000 game collection. Like, I, I was like, yo, download Discord. And they, they, they wouldn't even download Discord. I was like, whoa, dude, really? It's like, we realized we could, like, converse about stocks, right? Why did he have to move him? But yeah, I mean, that's what that's what that it's kind of for. For gay furry porn and like weird, weird immigrants to like relate to people. I'm not saying they're weird. Like, oh, there's another good photo, dude. That was the best. So that was fifty thirty-five. I'm not just I'm not saying they're weird but then again you're not real okay <clears throat> so let's try, let's try this a little bit more all right so this is over the river and through the woods in directory 3 for Gundam uh, it features uh, a really nice orange bridge and uh 
obviously I'm collecting all the sites with my Gundams. And uh, it has a really nice backdrop of the city. Obviously each of the areas has unique lighting and setups for some pretty fun uh, Gundam experiences. Like for example, this is like a huge drawstring bridge right here, right? Um, so let's continue. It's so difficult because like, I can't just be like, oh, like, this is where I want my edit to be. Because they have so many cool areas. It, unless you spend like an hour looking through it. Like I have my pen usually with like my notebook. Total stalemate. Locked down by cover fire. So I guess uh, let's go right back across the bridge. How could Zan attack a neutral? Wait. How could Zan attack a neutral colony? We can't afford to lose the Abyss. Whoa. Check him out, dude. Oh, so here's the boss, Camphor. Again, Gundam Punch. The Gundam Punch! Oh. That's mad funny, dude. <laughs> that was the most Mega Man thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That's mad funny. Seeing that is like me, me trying to play Final Fantasy VII on my new PC, and it's just not on Steam. Uh, let's press down to repair while I'm still standing, so I have to keep getting down. Like, don't worry, guys. I knocked him up in the air. No way. Alright, so I'm gonna knock Camper up in the, up in the air. Why? Yeah, that would have been a memorable moment to mention that I just reached level 19, but I feel like I did that rather early on. There's no holding back. Time to push the pedal through the floor. Nice. So, this boss battle is going pretty well. Maybe I could lead him over to the orange bridge. Will he run over here? No. This camp, camp for boss fight is going pretty well. I'm like level 19. All, oh my god. And all of these. Imagine not having to tell people like what level you are. It's like I don't want to redo the game, but you have to redo. And uh, that's like me like filming the beginning of like Wolfenstein 2: The New Colossus, and like with uh, Blaskowitz in his wheelchair. It's like. The beginning of the game, the entirety of Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus is very straightforward. 
The only thing you need to look up is, um, like once you get back to the ship area, like the main base, um, I forget at which part, but it was before like you do like the huge like warship bombing. Okay, another mission. Alright, so, Directory 3. So let's do Directory 3C. Big Zam's last stand. I'm gonna upgrade. Mm, I'm not gonna upgrade. So I'm gonna do Big Zam's last stand as the final directory in Gundam. That's so me launch, level 19. Oh, is this? This mission takes place after Green Mobile Armor Big Zam sets out from Salomon. You'll be outside Salomon, supporting Gundam, where it goes along the edges and picks up all the cheese. I missed the screen cap again, dude. Nice try, punk. Big Zam can shrug off. I'll take you all with me if I have to. Oh. I don't know who's gonna do that. Is right below. Double A defenses. I'm out of this yet. Yeah. I'm, my dad. My dad's being gay. Does the machine's losing balance? I'm not through yet. So this moon, moon base looks mad cool. Let me, let me mute the stream too. I'm listening to a stream and then I'm listening to my dad just like... Alright so... I don't know what this mission is called. But this is the, the cool one. Alright so... <clears throat> Uh, so this is another mission in Directory 3. Um, it's like 3E or something. If I have to be specific, and obviously, like, guiding you through it. Um, like, it's totally enjoyable. And, like, endlessly fun. Um, I, I got the Cool Whip character the last stream. Um, which is absolutely hilarious. Oh, whoa, there's the boss over there. Look how giant he is. Oh my god, dude. That's Big Zam. Wow. That looks mad cool, dude. I feel like I'm watching the 1995 Dragon Ball movie. Dragon Ball Z movie. With, like, the dude that looks like the huge cell. Whoa. I don't know what it's called, but it's on my, my movie anime section. This guy is mad cool, dude. What a cool fight. Incredible. The lighting's incredible, too. Whoa. Like I have to I have to take a screen cap with this boss dude. Check him out, dude. Big Zam. This is mad cool. I got a boss in here. That's all we need. That's all we need. A boss, dude. I love bosses. That's like the entire point of the game. It's like you went through all this struggle. And now you went through the struggle. And now there's a, a really cool boss, right? I was in here with the laser. That was a nice photo, dude. I feel like that definitely beats the bridge. Because you have the boss here, right? You have to include the boss in the screen cap. Otherwise, like, what are you doing? I hope the armored core. Uh, DLC. I really like what I what I meant to say in my armor core video, because I already said it in Twitch chat. So like I figured I don't need to say it again. Um, but like obviously, what I want in the armored core six DLC is like the the diamond weapon from armored core uh, for Final Fantasy seven. Like I want that kind of setup. Like, that would be pretty sick. Obviously, like, can they really partner like that? When you think about it. 
Why why I did that? Yeah. Oh, that was a cool laser dodge. I'm only doing the laser dodge, and then that's it. And I'm never doing anything like that again. I'm about to go. I can't wait to the new Xenoverse has like a hyperbolic time chamber. That'd be mad fun, dude. Right, so I just did a lot of damage to the Xen. So, let me stand here with the drinking gun. Oh. Right. So, like I mentioned before, that's those Zebi to you. For fighting games. Right. <laughs> so, hmm. so, I can set myself up. So, Directory 3 has a. Okay. So, director. Mm. So, director E3. Oh, they're all dying. So, director E3. Mm. Okay. So, director E3. And. Sorry. So, director E3, it takes place. Oh. So, Directory 3, in Gundam, it has Big Zam, the boss, over here. It looks mad cool. I mean, Dodge's laser. Obviously, I recommend being level 19 for the entirety of Directory 3. I had to bleed it. I let my teammates die because I was trying to get a cool screen cap of the boss. But it looks like he has some support units. So let's go repair my repair my friends. He hit him with the power laser from across the across the planet. Across the entire planet, guys. Oh my god. He actually did it. They did a scientific experiment with like, is he actually gonna do it? He actually did it, dude. No way. What an absolute maniac. <laughs> what an absolute maniac. Maniac McGee was actually a good book. Not really. I hated Maniac McGee. Maniac McGee was like, like, hey, we're gonna make you read a book and it also sucks. Like when I think Big Zam for books, what do I think of? Um, sadly, I, I don't think of any literature. Um, any like robot literature in my mind. Um, the only one I can think of is Devil Man vs. Hades, uh, 1 through 3, the manga. And that's just being lazy. But the, the art direction in that is mad cool. Now it's back up. What an easy fight, dude. Kind of looks great. I mean, the graphics here look sick, dude. They look better than... The lighting here is amazing. Like, absolutely incredible. I would love to fight Cell in this lighting. That'd be very fun. That's why. I'm pretty sure you could actually fight Perfect Cell in the arena in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1. I'm not entirely sure though. Because I, I know the Cell games and trained for the Cell games in one of like the, the planet missions. Like I bought, like a, how I bought Frieza. 
ペラマダンゲームこれでチェンバラ作戦終了だからね。